Good afternoon guys and happy 4th of July to all of your sunshiny faces. We are grilling for 4th of July guys and with our new, um, what's it called, the new um, cast iron skillet thing we got, we can put it right on the grill. It actually reduces burning of the um, like hamburgers, hot dogs, the uh, we didn't do those today we actually ended up doing a oh, goodness guys i can't even talk pork chops and then also kebabs as well which i made these they look good guys and this was honestly i made these with like leftover chicken and leftover peppers that was literally like this was just like a leftover thing and they actually look like they turned out really good and like i used like an onion and like a half of a red onion i think or something like that and honestly they look like they actually turned out pretty decent i wanted to do zucchini but that day we didn't have any and then i just froze them and then they were grilled today guys and normally too these things whenever we grill them they always end up like burning because we don't soak them first but because they defrosted they were in like liquid and they didn't burn so that's what we got and then over here we've actually got we had some of this yesterday but we got two things of macaroni salad because they were like a couple cents per pound i think we spent like a couple bucks in total for all this stuff as well coleslaw and then two different types of potato salad because i don't really feel like making it i do have stuff to make a pasta salad but i didn't end up doing that then also corn we got strawberries grapes cherries um watermelon i also have a cantaloupe but i didn't get to cutting that up and i also cut up the salad as well and then um so that's pretty much what we're gonna have like for the dinner and stuff and then for myself i actually got um baco burgers i think that's how you say them but i got those they were 250 for like a four pack at um caputos i believe and so um i ended up picking up some of these um they had two different types of chicken kind and then also this like just regular like burger kind so this was what i ended up going with um or having for today so um i'm just doing cheeseburgers for these for myself um and then yeah that's i think that's everything we are going to also get um we brought a couple things for dessert also but this is going to be dinner we're going to go eat outside forgot to put out well kind of but the kitchen wasn't clean like at all today and then on top of that too guys i woke up at like 10 o'clock but at 11 i actually took like an hour nap until noon i don't know why i was super tired and so i fell back asleep and i didn't even go to bed like that late last night but we also had french onion dip and like salsa and guacamole and stuff like that that i actually bought from aldi but um i think i'll just put it out tomorrow since the kitchen's actually clean enough where i can put it out which like earlier today the kitchen wasn't like the kitchen table had stuff on it and things like that so i didn't totally get a chance to but um yeah then tomorrow i think we're gonna do hamburgers and hot dogs for three three days guys um i think we're gonna do hamburgers and hot dogs tomorrow like maybe for lunch and then for dinner tomorrow we're gonna probably do i'm gonna do the um baby back ribs again because i have a, a two pick two slabs of those so i'm going to do the second one tomorrow and then um also we have more corn and what else do we have oh i also have drumsticks too and then i think i might um actually i think i might just do drumsticks in the baby back ribs maybe tomorrow um for like dinner so i think that's what we're going to do but for right now yeah guys like i said we're going to go eat so after dinner we've got dessert going we've got these super cute little um american usa fourth of july little like dessert cups kind of jack that is a lot of ice cream for a little cup this is like how much i got and then we've also got apple pie that's left over from i think memorial day or whatever the last time we ended up grilling kind of party thingy um and chocolate syrup ice cream sandwiches and then we got a little bit of moose tracks which is we got this and that um on Sunday and this we got from Caputo's we got that at Aldi so and then we've got little 4th of July little um, napkins for dessert oh my goodness Jack and which way do you want to go Jack <laughs> so now this afternoon guys we're playing Trivial Pursuit and I think it was this um evening, this afternoon this evening we're playing Trivial Pursuit okay, and nephew. I think this oh, game was actually science, made yeah. On the first, um, the first Fourth of July. So the question. 1981. The question. <laughs> you're gonna be a little difficult. The question is appearing in trivia pursuit. This game is. Oh, crap! It's This game is older than I am. All right, okay, science. 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 The science is. It's almost older than Dad. Oh, Hold on, man, well, back. no, Dad, you were born in what the 70s. So I just grab a card and read the, the green one. Oh, Mom was born in the 70s. I read the green one. No, wait, when was green Mom one. born? 
What was mom doing? <laughs> Do beavers... Man, I can see the qu answers. It's around the bottom. Do you to cover the back? So Dan already knows. Do beavers eat fish? Yes. What do you think? I'm going to so. say yes. Jeez, this is a yes or no question. This is yeah. easy. Yeah. Half the other ones we were reading were yes. super hard. We're going to say yes, Jack. Jack? Jack Palance. Who? I don't know. It is no. Uh, don't let the dog sounded no. angry about that. So no I thought it was a Jack ghost at first. Wedge. I was like, what is that? No. No. Wait, what happens when you fill up all of your wedges? Do you get to eat a slice of pizza? You're supposed to answer all you six. So wait, how do we get wedges? You just... Once you land on this thing and you get it right, but you have to end. Oh, so out. you have to get a different of each color. So, so wait, you have so to get. These so ones each don't ones matter, have different but you have categories. To to keep your turn going. I oh, get it. so we can. Oh, all right, all right, I get it. This is difficult. We get two. Do you want to go brown? Roll again, knucklehead. Why? Because Why? that's where two is going to take you. What? Where? Roll again. Oh. No, roll. Move it to a spot. Oh. Yeah, no matter which six. side we would have picked, it would have been. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, right over. Six. Music. I think that's what that old no, timey thingy is. History. <laughs> he can't even Ooh, tell. History. It's a six. And oh, no, six. History. Oh. All right, Kaylin Matthew. <laughs> okay. What Grandma country <laughs> did Lord Ha Ha broadcast oh. propaganda for in World War II? Hold on. Ha Ha. It's not an American name. All right, then yeah, we'll go with Japan. You go with Japan, final answer? Yes. Jack, you got it right, buddy. What? Oh, it's Germany. Nice. Yeah, it sounds like ha ha. You said Germany. Is it like J A J A? No, H A W H A W. Well, then maybe you should. I thought it was H A H A. You should ask for a spelling correction. You didn't ask. I didn't know the we rules of this game. We should have asked. Where do I put the card? Just off the put side? Put it at the back of the. They got the easy question. It is late. It is well after one o'clock, actually, almost like two o'clock, and I'm going to take a shower and head to bed. Stayed up way too late trying to finish this per trivial pursuit because we were all like, we have to finish before we fall, before we go to bed. Because it, we, this game is from whatever, 1980s. We have no clue, like, any of the stinging questions. Um, like, even my dad didn't know half of them. And, like, yeah, it was just not good. I mean, like, me and Matthew knew, like, a couple, like, some of the things, like, science or, like, you know, history, I guess, and stuff like that is, like, some of the questions are hard, though, but, like, you know, most of that stuff doesn't change. Or, like, but, like, the questions about, like, history or sports and stuff like that, like, my dad's good because he knows a lot about, like, anciently old sports, but... Like, for me, I had no clue, like, the questions about, like, entertainment and stuff like that. I was like, it was like, who was so-and-so's co-star? I was like, I've never heard of either of these people. And so, it was just really, like, not good at all. Um, so yeah, it was a, like, I'm sure for my parents would have been, like, more of a fun game. Because it's a little bit more competitive. But at the end, we all just were trying to, like, each person would read a different, like, each different person, like if I was reading, then I obviously couldn't answer, but then everybody else would try and answer, and we worked together to try and actually like get the little pieces. We could not do it, guys. It was so hard. So tomorrow, I actually think we were talking about playing another game. We might play this one. It's called Knowledge or Game of Knowledge, and it's pretty much like Trivial Pursuit, which I know there's like tons of obviously new ones, but we don't have any of those. All we had was this one, and Matthew's like, yeah, this is such a fun game. Let's play it. And he's like, I didn't realize we had the first original version um <laughs> i'm not even joking guys i think it is um so i think we're gonna play that tomorrow though the other one because it's pretty much the same thing as trivial pursuit but the questions on there already me and matthew are reading some of them off a lot easier like still challenging questions but things that are a little bit more like modern and then also too because they have like two different sets of questions ones that are like for 10 to 15 year olds and then ones that are like 16 and up so obviously it's easier to answer those kind of questions i feel like um and two for jack so we can kind of be included because like jack got one right it was something about um i don't even remember or two right um because then there was another one that was like how what country or something like that had the most casualties in world war ii or combat casualties or something it was russia and me and jack were the only two that like kind of knew it jack's like yeah i remember us having a thing in in like school and it said that and that was like one of the only ones me and him both got it right and so there was a handful of them that i did get right but they were not easy questions to answer so 
yeah we're gonna maybe try another thing tomorrow and it took us way too late to pretty much do this and just made us feel like failures so anyways though guys i will see you all in tomorrow's vlog though if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up i hope you all enjoyed your fourth of july and i will see you guys all tomorrow so bye guys